are you a farmer wishing to venture into dairy farming? Are you stranded and you don't know where to start? I know you've heard stories of how farmers have been caught when buying dairy cows. So, and you're wondering, how do I start? What is this that do I have to look for when buying a, a dairy cow? What makes a good dairy cow? Which is the best dairy cow? And especially, the one that will give you good milk as a beginner. Well, in this tutorial, today we take you through on the best milk cow for beginners. It's an ultimate guide when, where we look at the best cow that you can venture into it. And I bet you, it's not the famous version that you are thinking. Although, you may find it on the list, but it's not the best. The best one, it will definitely shock you. Starting a dairy farm is an exciting venture, but selecting the light milk cow can be a doubting task, especially for beginners. With numerous breeds to choose from, each with own set of characteristics, it's essential to identify a cow that not only produces high quantities of milk, but also boasts disease resistance and high feed conversion efficiency. Additionally, affordability is a critical factor for those just starting a dairy farming. In this comprehensive tutorial, we'll explore the best milk cow breeds for you as a beginner. Now, what makes a good dairy cow? A good dairy cow is one that produces large quantities of milk, has strong resistance to common diseases, efficiently converts feed into milk, and is affordable. Balancing this factor can help ensure a, prof a profitability and sustainable dairy farming operation. Now, there is several factors that we have to look for. One, it's the importance of high milk production. High milk production is a key factor for profitability in dairy farming. Cows that can consistently produce large quantities of milk are more valuable as they provide a steady income stream. The other one is disease resistance. You don't need to uh, buy a cow that you will invest all your money in veterinaries or treating it. Disease resistance is crucial in maintaining a healthy herd and reducing veterinary cost. Cows that are less prone to diseases will have longer productive lives and require less medical intervention. The other one is feed conversion efficiency. Feed conversion efficiency refers to the cow's ability to convert feed into milk. Cows with high feed conversion rates are most cost-effective to raise as they produce more milk per unit of feed consumed. This is why we tell farmers when you are buying cows, don't be attracted with those huge big cows. A panda, look for a small medium cow that will give you more milk but feed less. The bigger the cow, the more it feeds more and most of the time, the lesser milk it produces. Also, bigger cows tend to have some fertility issues. The other uh, thing that you have to look for is affordability. For beginners, the initial cost of purchasing cow is significant investment. Finding a high performing and affordable breed is essential to avoid financial strains. There are cows that range even to up, up to 1 million. But when you're buying a cow as a beginner, don't invest such much. Actually, I usually tell farmers a good cow ranges from 80 to 120. As a beginner, don't go buying 300, uh, uh, 300k worth cows or 500k worth cows. Sometimes they may come and disappoint you. And as I tell the farmers, if you find a farmer who sells a cow over 300,000 or 400,000, do a good due diligence on that cow. Most probably, there may be a, a reason he's selling that cow. Now, Let's get to it. The best dairy cow breed for beginners. Now we shall start with the third one. The third cow for beginners is one that we call brown Swiss cow. Brown Swiss cows are known for their calm, temperament, longevity, and versatility. They are an excellent choice for beginners due to their ease of handling and durability. When it comes to milk production and quality, brown Swiss cows produce around 5,500 to 6,500 liters of milk annually with a butterfat content of 4%. Their milk is ideal for cheese production. So if you've never done any 
type of dairy farming. This is a good cow that you can start with. When it comes to disease resistance, these cows are handy and have a strong resistance to diseases, making them a low maintenance breed. Especially if you are you, uh, in the event of foot and mouth diseases, these cows these cows tend to have good resistance. Actually, you can find that you have a Holstein Frisian and a Brown Swiss cow in one herd, but uh, Holstein Frisian is hit by foot and mouth disease, but the brown Swiss cow is still very okay. When it comes to feed conversion, brown Swiss cows have a good feed conversion rate, producing a good substantial amount of milk for the, uh, for the feed they consume. When it comes to affordability, they are moderately priced, offering a good balance between the cost and productivity for beginners. Most of the time, you find them ranging from uh, 50,000 to up to 150,000. With around 80,000, you can get a good brown Swiss cow. The second one, which most of the people usually go after, is uh, Holstein Frisian. Now, Holstein Frisian is the most common dairy breed, actually worldwide. It's known for their striking black and white markings and exceptional milk production. Speaking of milk production quality, Holsteins are prolific milk producers, averaging around 8,000 to 10,000 liters of milk per year. Their milk has a lower butterfat content of around 3.7%, but this sheer production volume makes them uh, higher prof high, highly profitable. The only problem with hosting Frisian is disease resistance. While hosting Frisians can be prone to certain health issues, careful management and regular veterinary care can mitigate this risk. Selecting hosting from reputable breeders can focus on health traits is crucial. Hosting Frisians are prone to many diseases. Their resistance is quite low. So when you're selecting a hosting Frisian, be prepared with Mm, that with a veterinarian that you can be calling once in a while. When it comes to feed conversion, hostings have high feed conversion efficiency, making them a cost-effective option despite their higher feed intake compared to smaller breeds. <laughs> Affordability. The initial cost of purchasing host inflation, they are quite high. But their milk production can be quickly offset this investment. You, will, you find them ranging from uh, 120, 70,000, 80,000. They can go even to up to 1 million. I've seen a farmer selling uh, host inflation for over a million. But ask yourself, with the buying price offset the income that you're, uh, uh, that you're intending to get or how soon will you recover the amount that you have invested? Now, my number one cow for beginners is Jesse. This is the best cow for beginners. Just a cow is one of the most popular breeds and the best for beginner. It's known for its high butterfat content and efficient milk production. Just is a small is small in terms of body size, adaptable and thrives in various climates. When it comes to milk production, though it has uh, the milk production is low as compared to host inflation, it has uh, it's not that much low, around 4,000 to 5,000 liters of milk annually, and has a high butterfat content of 4.9. This makes their milk ideal for cheese and even butter production. It's also known for robust health and resistance to common diseases. And also, when it comes to feed conversion, they are excellent feed converters, requiring less feed to produce significant amount of milk. And they are also affordable, especially when it comes to Jesse. If you change the feed ratio, it does not. The change does not reflect immediately on the milk. What do I mean? I mean, if you change the feed ratio of four Jesses, they may not reduce the milk that they will give you that day. But for host inflation, if it's used uh, to eating uh, dried uh, brewer's waste, or what the common called machicha, and you don't feed it, that day expect a reduced milk production. If it's used to eat daily meal, you eliminate daily meal from the ration, expect a milk reduced uh, reduced milk production. The same case happens if you eliminate salt, uh, they deflect instant. If they are sick, instant milk production. But for Jesse, those are not, um, they don't reflect easily. So as a beginner, now you have it. If, you, uh, if, it's, your time, if, you, if, you, if it's your first time to do the farming, go for Jesse. If it's 
a second time you can go for hosting but be prepared to some ADCs challenges. Before you leave, ensure that you subscribe and you share this video to as many daily farmers so that we can you can support us 